Oh man, here we go. Oh shit. Last one, Mikey. Love you, Mike. Right. Love you, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. You've got this, Mikey. Woo -hoo -hoo. Mikey. <laughs> here we go. And as the edge, JJ Mike and Dom, it's Florence and the Machine Chicken. Oh. This is going to be um, the, the la for now, at least the, the last break that Mike uh, introduces um, as an edge announcer. Uh, that was a lot better than your first break twenty years ago. Mate. <laughs> it's like come full circle. Can we, it's, it's been a long time. This was Mike when he first started on the edge. Roll the clip. 97.8 The Edge with Mike Peru. How do you do? 8 past 7. Here's a newie from a UK group called Take That. Now get this. These fashion conscious guys have had more number one hits in the UK than the Beatles. Hey, they must have a huge wardrobe if they dress for success. Here's Bank for Good, fresh for you at The Edge. Hey. Oh, thank goodness that is finished. Um, it's very emotional. we got everyone in here this morning. Morning, Edge team. Yeah. Yes, this is quite overwhelming. And uh, while you're all here, can I just say thank you very much? You know, it's not just the Edge team that are my family here, but also the um, the roadrunners around the country and the Edges. That for 20 years I've been um, part of this station, and it's an incredible place to be. <laughs> oh. oh, Mikey. But anyway, hold it together. <laughs> He's back. I'm back. The courts of a professional. <laughs> but you know, I just wanted to say thank you. I've had an amazing time here. I've learned so much. I've travelled the world. I've um, met some incredible people as well. And um, really, you know, when you come from Gore and you end up in the North Island, you guys have been my family. So. <laughs> You're nice to us in your own family, though, so <laughs> we appreciate that. Chang, Chang, you were the producer of the JJ Mike and Dom show for a while. Are you going to miss Mike or? Oh, yeah, he's like my. my <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we, me, me and Mike are like the minorities here at the edge. <laughs> oh, wow. so That's right. That's right. And, you both, and you're both gay, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not. Uh, it's just like, you know, it's like today, like I said my piece to him on Monday, but it's just like he, I, I, I lost a very good friend today, so. <laughs> yeah. He's not dead. He's not bloody dead, mate. He's dead. He's moving to another part of the car, though. We're still going to park outside his house and we need to go to Eden Park for the rugby. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Um, no, but thank you so much. An incredible time. And JJ and Tom in particular, thank you. You guys have been my best friends through this journey. You've taught me a lot. And um, I hope that the show will continue to grow. And Clint, you're going to be the man in here. Brother, enjoy it. It's a fun place. Your life is never going to be the same, my friend. <laughs> Jesus is never going to forgive you. <laughs> thank you, Mike. And um, to all those people that have sent me messages um, over the past few days. It's been quite overwhelming, really. Radio is very powerful in the way that it, um, you know, really gets involved with people's lives. And, um, you know, although I'm taking a break from radio for a couple of months, I'm sure I'm going to pop up again soon. Um, the Bachelor's coming up next year, and I've got that to do, and then I will decide after that where I'm going to be. So um, just thank you, everybody. I love you all to bits. What a fantastic workplace this is. And um, New Zealand, thank you for having me as part of your lives as well over the past 20 years on this particular station. So from me, um, thank you. I'm out of here. Have a fantastic Christmas and a wonderful New Year's. Here's to 21 years on this station, The Edge. <laughs>